Some middle school students in Yarmouth are well on their way to winning a national competition that could not only help their school, but Maine's fishing industry as well. CBS 13's Kim Block joined us now live with how these students are making a difference for their town, their state, and their school. Kim? Well, Adrian, it started as a challenge to science, technology, engineering, and math students, or STEM programs around the country, create a project that could help solve the problems of tomorrow. That nationwide competition has landed a school in Yarmouth in the top 15 with their eyes on the grand prize. This three-minute video has put science and technology students at Harrison Middle School in the national spotlight. They created it as part of a challenge by Samsung called Solve for Tomorrow. The students decided to take on the invasive green crab in Maine. The green crabs, uh, little crabs, are eating all the juvenile clams from 5 to 39 millimeters. And since there's no juvenile clams, there's no adult clams. So the clamming industry is pretty much getting wiped out. When you come from the home of the Yarmouth Clam Festival, those are fighting words. In the video, the students explain how the crabs are eating more and more juvenile clams. They have charts showing how the number of juvenile clams has dropped sharply and the number of invasive crabs has jumped. Well, the crab is really affecting our community and we're really learning about how to help our community and not just ourselves. The green crab is just a voracious eater, doesn't have a predator, um, and that's why it's so harmful, and that's what our kids have, have really learned from this study. They also learned they were winners of a $35,000 technology prize from Samsung, given to just 15 schools around the country. Now they have a chance to be in the top five and win a $135,000 technology prize for their school. It was kind of like subtle, and then we were like, yeah! The top five winners will be decided by online voting and the judges who watched their presentation in Texas last week. But no matter what happens, the students are going ahead with their research, hoping to find a solution to save Maine's clamming industry. They've gotten the learning, they've gotten the word out, and they have made a difference. Uh, so it's been, it's been a really great journey. Now, in addition to raising awareness about the invasive green crab, the students are also conducting several experiments to help keep track of the species and possibly prevent the crabs from eating those juvenile clams. So, Adrian and Greg, they've already accomplished quite a bit, mm -hmm. but they do have their eye on the big prize, and they actually do have a chance at it. Uh, it's wonderful. And you mentioned online voting is a, is a piece of that contest. That's right. That is a key component. In addition to the judges, people all around the country now are going online and voting for their favorite schools. We've put a link to the voting website at WGME.com. They have to place in the top five in order to win. They're currently in fourth. That's They're great. They're just 200 votes out of third, so they'd love your votes. The voting continues until Friday, March 14th. How cool is that? Yeah. Boy. It would be Kim, great. Thank you.